Greetings to Dr. Neo and everyone. I'm Kaini and my topic for today's presentation is All types of food packaging cause environmental pollution. Food packaging lies at the very heart of the modern food industry and in fact, very few foods are sold unpackaged. Food packaging is known to have the function to enclose the food by protecting it from tempering or contamination from physical, chemical and biological sources. Normally, Active packaging is the most common used packaging system for preservation of food products in the market. According to Robertson, one of the objectives of food packaging is containment. This is essential for the efficient transportation, storage and distribution of the food product. This helps in reducing total waste through extending the shelf life of the food. Aside from containment, food packaging also serves the role of protection. This slows down the deterioration rate of the product by retaining the desired qualities and safety of the food fit for consumers' consumption. Food packaging also plays a role in convenience, such as to minimize the effort necessary to prepare and serve the food. Certain food packaging has been added with value and benefits to allow ease of access, handling, and disposal. Lastly, Communication is also provided by food packaging towards consumers, such as the purpose of product and brand identification. Information such as list of ingredients, net weight, nutritional data, expiry or best before dates, and even the price are printed on food packaging. Despite its importance and the key role that food packaging plays, it is often regarded as somewhat superfluous and a serious waste of resources as this can lead to environmental menace. Food supply chains are one of the main contributors to severe environmental problems. In the UK, it was found that trash containing billions of plastic bottles, drink cans and coffee cups were used every year. The fast food related packaging accounts for a third from all litter. Besides, according to EU reports, an average of 17,000 tonnes of domestic waste were produced per day while Malaysia is expected to produce 30,000 tonnes per day in the year of 2020. Due to pandemic caused by COVID-19, food packaging waste is expected to further increase. Statistics from EPA reports showed that paper packaging alone can generate about 1.5 million tonnes of waste and similar figures were found for plastic packaging. In total, the global packaging waste forms 30 to 35 percent of municipal solid waste, and almost 60 percent of them belong to food products. What's even worse is that 42 percent of the global production of plastic comes from food packaging. Ever since 1960s, developed countries have been aware of the seriousness of environmental pollution caused by food packaging. This is due to high consumer demands for convenience food which leads to high consumption of natural resources and packaging production process. Majority of single-use containers along with other packaging used for takeaway food ended up as litter when discarded by customers irresponsibly. So how does each type of food packaging cause environmental pollution? Let's have a look in that. Glass packaging helps in long-term preservation and prevents contamination of foods and beverages. During glass manufacturing, feedstock material is melted by burning fossil fuels and this generates air emissions including greenhouse and other toxic gases. Fine particulates that contain heavy metals such as arsenic and lead are emitted as a result from vaporization and recrystallization processes. Next. Packaging made of metal such as aluminum production is the result of mined bauxite that is smelted into alumina. This energy intensive process involves with the usage of a lot of water and creates a toxic sludge that is caustic. This process may contain radioactive elements or heavy metals, making its management complicated. Hence, this also produces toxic air emissions to the surroundings. Furthermore, Production of paper packaging requires forest resources to be consumed during the preparation of the raw materials. Unrestricted consumption of forest resources will undermine its growth balance, causing soil erosion, desertification, water shortages, and a series of ecological problems. Although paper food packaging is ideal for foods, the manufacturing process of food packaging can create water and air emissions. Mills in the past depend on usage of high energy and water. This produced large volumes of toxic wastewater. Today, much of the water is recycled and modern processing in some mills produce no liquid effluents. 
However, there are still primary air emissions generated from the paper food packaging production. Lastly, food packaging made from plastics are derived from fossil fuels. Plastic food packaging production involves with the use of feedstock source derived from natural gas or crude oil refining. Several top plastic products used in food packaging are listed here. Unfortunately, plastic manufacturing is responsible for a significant amount of greenhouse gases and toxic air emissions. Aside from food package manufacturing, disposal of the food packaging also further damages the environment. After using, most food packaging is discarded or either buried in a landfill and becomes litter that is carried away by wind and water currents into the environment. Packaging sent to landfills, especially when made from plastics, does not degrade quickly. Chemicals from the packaging materials, including inks and dyes from labeling, can leach into groundwater and soil after some time. Food packaging made from microplastic in soil can give up detrimental effects, including chemical intoxication of soil fauna like earthworms. Degrading plastics absorb toxic chemicals like PCBs and pesticides like DDT, which pollutes both water and soil. The breakdown of plastics in soil and water also releases toxic chemicals like phthalates and BPA. Besides, plastic packaging has been known to be hazardous and life-threatening to marine life. The contaminated pieces eventually make their way through the food chain into humans through ingestions of seafood. Some food packaging materials degrade relatively quickly, while others will take hundreds to even a million years to degrade. Thus, the waste will eventually occupy a lot of space on Earth. Besides, if the food packaging waste cannot be recycled or composted, they are often landfilled or incinerated. Both processes produce air emissions, including greenhouse gases. This will again lead to air pollution, which can cause degradation of air quality. Although no packaging is the best choice of all, there are several approaches to control the environmental pollution from food packaging. First and foremost is the enforcement of laws and regulations regarding the usage of packaging raw materials. Policymakers should implement policies that limit the use of non-recyclable food packaging, especially the ones made from plastics. Finding companies that overuse the food packaging made from non-recyclable materials in food production lines should be done by authorities. Banning single-use food packaging and materials should be legalized and implemented. The government and stakeholders should also focus on using and developing more food packaging materials made from renewable or biodegradable sources. Next, economic interventions in the market can be established in places such as retail outlets or food providers. For example, consumers that require any extra packaging during purchases will have to be charged with extra cost unless they bring along their shopping bags or containers. This method is a great move to further intensify awareness among consumers. Furthermore, environmental awareness to promote the role of resources and environmental protection should not be underestimated. Relevant departments need to increase the publicity of resources and environmental protection and also establish a harmonious development between the environment values and consumers' attitudes. Moreover, the three R hierarchy, which are reduce, reuse and recycle practice should be highly emphasized towards consumers through interactive media platforms. As a consumer, we can do our part by eliminating the need of food packaging and buy and eat fewer packaged foods. Some examples are listed in this slide. As a conclusion, all types of food packaging do indeed cause environmental pollution despite their benefits. The effects of food packaging on environment is strongly influenced by social desires, political preferences, regulatory and economical effects. Plastics have perhaps the most negative image among other food packaging materials. The impact of food packaging waste on the environment can be minimized by prudently selecting materials by following EPA guidelines and reviewing expectations of packaging in terms of environmental impact. Reclamation of packaging waste through recycling is strongly promoted by legislative bodies as a way of reducing the environmental impacts by food packaging. Finally, it can be asserted that while packaging plays an important role in achieving a sustained development, its most important actors are the consumers themselves. No regulations can be as effective as a well-informed, environmentally conscious and ethical public. 
So these are my references and that's the end of my presentation. Thank you.